So we're going to take the fuel pump, take off that brown nipple at the bottom. Here's the filter. We'll go right in there. Squeeze on there. You're going to put that filter on there. And then you're going to get this small little filter retaining washer right there. It's in a little bag of parts and it easily gets, you know, lost in there. So keep an eye out for it. And the you'll see it when you get it. It's got a flat side and it's got a side with a little lip on it towards the hole. And you're going to put the flat side down. This being the flat side, you're going to put it down towards the filter. And you're going to press it on there. And that'll hold the filter into place. on there. You can see how that lip is hugging up against that uh, that little cylinder right there. And now the filter's on there. See, your filter's on there. You have that new rubber piece that you can see these two grooves will fit right around the grooves on the bottom of the fuel pump. And it won't exactly go in there, but once you once you get it on the bracket, it'll stay in there. Before you put it on, you have this gray nipple on top. Pop that off. We're going to put on our new hose. It's a nice and snug on there. Below the lip, got the clamp. Flathead screwdriver. Tighten these down nice and snug. Put this, this other clamp onto the line before you install the line onto the metal line on the the, uh, the whole assembly. Put that clamp on there. Make sure your rubber uh, holder is on there. Press the line onto the rubber, or the metal line. And then now this will go right into the hole assembly. Now I'm going to put the, the clamp up over the other side. I have to loosen it up a little bit to get it over that lip on the metal uh, line. What I'm going to do is force the pump back down so it holds it tight against this bottom part of the bracket. And now it's pretty snug. You can kind of feel where that lip is on the metal line. I'm going to put it just above that and tighten down the clamp. Now you're going to reconnect this connector. I already got it started a little bit. There, it's in. All right. Now the fuel pump assembly, the floater assembly, all that's ready to go back on. Just like how we had it in there before, we're just going to go in the opposite direction and we reinstall it. in there, the filter, before we do this actually, so everybody can see this. This is your fuel cover 
o-ring right here and this is gonna keep the smell of gas out of your car because a lot of times like on our buddy's car this is shot so uh, his car constantly smells like gas they also sell these on NjukuRacing.com I'm gonna clean it off so I get a nice seal I don't want my car smelling like gas clean off where it seats You'll see it's a little small silver ring. Do you want to come around this side? It's this small silver ring right here. This is where it seats. Sorry about the lighting. It's getting kind of dark on us. Place that O-ring back on there. Even. Alright, now I'm going to put the pump and floater assembly back in. The way it came out. There's the floater. Making sure not to bend your floater because that's going to mess up how your fuel gauge reads. The lines up, out of the way. There we go. Alright. Then you, you might have to work with that air ring a little bit uh, once you get it on there, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, fast forward a little bit and get these six eight millimeter screws back in We got the plate back on what we had to do to get the washer in since it was uh, So oversized was take a little uh, small section out of it, and it seals quite nice actually we got our lines back on Right here, but before we put that plate or before we put this plate back on we're gonna reconnect that connector get it all uh, wired up and right now we're going to plug the battery back in get that fuse back in there for the fuel pump relay and we're going to turn it over and see if it works all right here's that fuse that i took out i'm going to put it right back in to where it came before i'll just put this cover on there a little bit all right we connect the negative terminal I'm about to put the key in the ignition and uh, turn it on to the on position, but I'm not going to start it. I'm going to let the uh, fuel pump prime. You should be able to hear it. Okay, start it. Alright, so now we know it works, we're going to go ahead, put that cover back on, and put this cover on. So this, this cover is going to go on first. And this was our 10 millimeter uh, bolts. When you put these on, just like the 8 millimeter ones that held that that cover on for the whole assembly uh, for the fuel pump they they just got to be snug they don't have to be super tight nothing like that you're gonna end up stripping them out if you uh, do them too tight right. now that we got that square plate on this oblong kind of weird bent up plate it's gonna go back on top and that uses these two Phillips headed Gold bolts. I don't know if yours would be gold or not, but mine are. And there you have it. That is the Walbro 255 liter per hour fuel pump bought from NjukuRacing.com installed.